just she would come in and, and again we would you know we would ask her sometimes we'd say you know did you talk to Kaylee you know where's Casey same excuse you know just nothing's changed still just couldn't talk to Kaylee where did she tell you Casey was Tampa Casey told her that she was in Tampa um, and then the, about the car accident that Zenaida was I guess Zenaida was in I think it was and you know some of the bizarre s stories sounded really bizarre to us um, that we just didn't understand it you know how, how was Cindy taking it? Did it seem bizarre to her? Did she seem like she was accepting this? It seemed like she was accepting, yeah. What Casey was telling her. And then at one point there was a time when she went from Tampa, then she did go to Jacksonville, supposedly went to Jacksonville, yes. Did she say why or with who? She said she was with Jeff, Jeff Hopkins. And this is the same Jeff Hopkins, I guess, with the Zachary, the, the surname Zachary? Right, Zach. Did, uh, did Cindy ever, did, prior to this year, had you ever heard Cindy talk about Jeff Hopkins? or? or All the time. Really? How so? Um, that Casey had told Cindy about Jeff. Um, made Jeff, you know, seem to be like he was really well off. You know, his wife supposedly died. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And that um, sometimes they would supposedly ride to work together because uh, he didn't want Casey, you know, driving by herself or something, whatever, so they could be working late. Um, and so many times Cindy was supposed to meet Jeff. And like she was going to make dinner or whatever, and Jeff and Zach were coming over, or either they were going to go out to dinner. And a lot of times we would, you know, we would ask her again on Monday morning. We were like, "Did you get a chance to meet Jeff this weekend?" No, this came up. It's going to be next weekend. And then the next weekend we were like, "What well, did you finally meet Jeff? How is he?" Blah blah blah. Now something came up. His mother got sick. We never did meet him. So it was just it went on for like a month, six weeks. That there was always an excuse of why she never met Jeff Hawkins. When was this? I would say, I would say possibly, I can't remember if it was the beginning of this year, like early, early part of this year, or, hmm, not sure, maybe the third quarter of last year. I, don't, I couldn't remember the exact time. So. Do you know if Cindy ever, met, ever got to meet Joe? According to... She never told us if she had. Okay. Yeah. So you don't know if she ever met him or not? As far or, as I know. Do you know if she's ever talked to Jeff on the phone? No, I don't know. Okay. So she never would come up, hey, he sounds nice, but... Right. Yeah. No, never never got that. All right. What about um, Zanny or Zanida? Did she ever... Did Cindy ever mention Zanny she's prior to yes, this year? Yes, Absolutely. She's talked about uh, Zanida uh, and go by Zan Zanny for a couple of years. When was the first time you actually heard Zanida mentioned? I guess Zanida, what I really heard about Zanida was when all this came out. Okay, so prior to that it was just Zanny. Zanny. Zanny, Zanny she was a nanny. Yes. Uh, had Cindy said if she ever met Zanny? No. Do you know if Cindy said she ever talked to Zanny or had her in the in her phone? or? I, I don't recall that, no. Okay. But to your knowledge, has, have you ever met Zanny? Has she ever come over here to no, pick up Kaylee? Or no. have you, has she ever showed up with Cindy? Never. No. Okay, so you've never seen Zanny, so you, you couldn't point her out if, if no. you saw her. No, So this time frame that Kaylee is now missing and, and Cindy says Casey's not letting her see her, uh, did you hear anything about... Casey's car being found in town. Did Cindy tell you about that or about? Yes, I was here that day that uh, she explained to us about the the letter. I guess the registered letter or something. And um, and George went to pick the letter up from the post office. I think it was on a Tuesday, mm -hmm. if I recall. And uh, she left here to go meet George to pick up the car. Did she say anything about the car when she got in it? or Yes, when I recall that when she got back, cause a lot of us were standing right right here by the front door when she walked in, and, and she made the statement about the smell in the car. She said it smelled like a dead body. And we told her then, you need to call the police. Did, did she come in and just say that, or did she say anything else about it? Did she see anything in the car that maybe alarmed you oh, She didn't guys? say. She just said it smelled like a dead body. Did she say why she even came back to work? That's what we said to her. We were like, you need to 
go home and take care of this. And she's like, well, you know, I, I need to finish up some things and I'll go home this evening. And, you know, she called Kaylee. She said she called Casey, I'm sorry. Called Casey and said, you know, where are you? We found the car, blah, blah, blah. Did she say where, Kaylee, where Casey and Kaylee were supposed to be that weekend or that, that day or that week? Again, we were still under the assumption that she was in Jacksonville with Jeff. Did Sydney seem upset that maybe, you know, that she apparently caught Casey in a lie, Casey saying she's in Jacksonville, she finds the car, you know, abandoned here. Did, did, what was her reaction about that? She seemed angry at Casey when she, you know, that the way she talked, that when she called Casey, you know, she said, I want to know what's going on, according to what she told us. She just sounded angry. She just didn't understand what was going on and why Casey would be lying. Did she, do you know if she spent the rest of the day at work? Or? I, I don't recall if she stayed, because she usually works to 5 or 5.30. Mm -hmm. She and the other supervisor, they rotate. I'm not sure. I couldn't say if she stayed the rest of the whole day or not. Um, in June of this year, is your work schedule 9 to 5 or 9 to 5.30 or 9 to 6? Well, between her and, and, the, and the other supervisor, they rotate their times as the, where they come in at 8 to 5 or 5.30. What about your schedule? My schedule is pretty much the same, eight to uh, 9 to 5.30. Okay. So specifically on, on June when she came in with the car, you don't recall she stayed... I guess to five, or she left immediately after talking to you guys, or she... I don't recall, no. All right. Whether she stayed. And again, she didn't say anything else about the about the car, aside from it smelled like a dead body? Well, she, you know, she mentioned, um, I think someone had asked her about the car seat. She said the car seat was there, um, you know, some clothes, I guess, of Kay the Kaylee's, um, um, and some toys. What about a doll or, or yeah, stuffed animal? Yeah, doll. The doll that was her favorite doll. I think she said that was in the car. And that didn't strike Cindy as odd at the time? Don't know why, but 